mankind's search for unity consciousness you see the world today many people experience mankind experiences the world the level of consciousness experiences the world as separate that they're this separate person this separate I this I am here and the world is out there and there's other people out there the transformation to unity consciousness of experience the world as oneness as united as unity where there is no separation comes from what we identify with right now it's a case of mistaken identity many are identified with their thoughts they think that when the thought comes into their space of consciousness that it's their thought if the thought is not a loving thought one must know that it's not from God that it's not from source that it's not from your true nature that it's not from infinity that it's from the dualistic world that wants you to experience what it's like to be a limited being a limited body a limited mind you're so much more than your body and your mind what you are is effortless being pure consciousness which sits behind all of the thoughts it comes first in this wide open space of awareness where the movie of the images are playing that's all they are it's just a movie images of lights stories taking place on the permanent screen the permanent movie screen of consciousness that never goes away that space if you look in your life all throughout your life that's the common denominator it's always been there is this wide open space of infinite consciousness and the story or the forms or the perceived forms body sensations life experiences it's just the movie that's playing on the screen of consciousness the movie that's playing cannot touch the screen so you're never affected by anything happening in the story in the movie so therefore knowing that you have imperturbable peace which means nothing of life experiences can hurt you or touch you you never incarnate into the human being you always remain as the one infinite being we all do that's what oneness is that's what unity consciousness is that's what non-duality is not two it's just one to experience that the backstory of a personal me needs to drop away and then what's left over is just this this unity consciousness where everything is welcome and everything can come and go there is no judgment it's a neutrality everything is neutral everything is one so you experience you I mean as in the big S the big self the one self that we all are experiences unity experiences everything arising effortlessly and equally in this wide open space of consciousness that you are you are this consciousness there is no separation from inside here and outside there it's all one there's no other out there you can say we but the we is really a one there is no separation it's just this it's just unity consciousness so you are this infinite being just having this human experience on the screen of consciousness we always remain as the screen for the analogy purposes so mankind has been searching for this unity that's why they seek for happiness on the outside because they feel like they're separate from the all but the reality is that they're not they just need to wake up and realize and many are doing that right now are waking up that they are the infinite being that they are unity that we are all one and many are experiencing oneness and that the unity consciousness that everything you're experiencing out there is you you see everything else is you this is just you and this separate you small you melts away and it's just this 
all of this is you. It's almost like what's out here is looking back out at you, so it's like a mirror. So it's just one. It's oneness. It's unity consciousness, where there's love, joy, and peace. And it's a constant happiness because of coming from within your beingness, your infinite beingness. So the happiness doesn't come from out there. That's those desires and stuff like that. It's all temporary. When the thoughts drop away, you experience what's already here, which is the effortless being, the infinite consciousness is where the true joy is. So know thyself. Know that you, what you truly are. What are you taking yourself to be? What identity do you have? Can you realize that you are the infinite being? Can you see that? Can you experience unity consciousness? If you just pay attention to the silence, even the words of duality, this thoughts that you're a separate I, a separate person, this feeling of existence, you've just misidentified it with being a separate I, a limited self, which is causing suffering. But if you would just realize what that is, what self-realization is, just realizing that the thoughts are not yours, especially the ones that are not loving. If they're not loving, they're not from you. If they're loving, then they're from source. But they're not true. The thoughts in your head, you're not your thoughts, and you're not just this limited body. You're all of it. You're everything, but no thing. You turn it back around. You are what you're looking for. You just drop back. And this is everything without the labels. It is experiencing everything as one. It's unity consciousness. We're all the one infinite being right here, right now. No matter what the thoughts are saying. Thoughts are not real. Thoughts can, can't feel, can they? Can thoughts feel? No. Is there a Rob here? No, that's just a story that was made up of thoughts. So it's just in your head. It's not a big deal. It's just ignore it. It's, it doesn't apply to, to what you truly are, what your true nature is, which is the infinite being. It's infinite consciousness. It's a, it's a quiet joy, a quiet peace. A deep peace almost like a zen kind of feeling like in the background no matter what's playing on the screen of consciousness because you're not identified with this story of rob this story of rob can suffer because of these thoughts about him are limited but when you just look around what what's right here it's just this what you truly are is shining in plain sight right here right now so it's right here so you can discover it right here right now you just pause your thoughts what's right here right now it's just this and what am I here what am I ask yourself what am I in this reality I know that I'm alive I know that I see forms coming and going stories coming and going but I always remain as the permanent awareness of it all so I'm just the pure awareness the infinite being just having a human experience experiencing unity consciousness and that's what mankind's searching for the search for happiness is because they're just searching for what they truly are. They don't know that they're the infinite being. That's what you're longing for, that's what you're looking for. What you're looking for is right here looking out. You're, looking, you're searching for yourself, for you, the, the big why, the big you. And that's unity consciousness, knowing what you truly are. You are the infinite being. So there's infinite possibilities that can happen under unity consciousness. And then there's a deep satisfaction and fulfillment, finally, when you realize what you truly are, what your true nature is then there's a constant happiness not a temporary happiness it's always here constant happiness that's the only way to get constant happiness is to realize what you truly are which is the infinite being pure awareness impersonal beingness is what it is it's not personal it's just this impersonal beingness shining here right now and that's really what you are everything else is just a story and so we can experience unity consciousness and that's what mankind wants. That's why they're searching for happiness and joy and they're trying to get it through money, relationships, cars, material things. Those things are only temporary. And once you get them, then you have a desire for something else. So why not realize what you truly are and have that permanent happiness without having to depend on anything else? Because you're self-sufficient, you have everything you need. And miraculously, those other things just, those experiences you just tend to have anyway when you have everything already when you are the money you are the relationship you are the health you are anything and everything that you want because you are everything but you're no thing that's unity consciousness when you experience the world like that you have that perception 
and when that separate I drops away and that backstory of the me drops away and you realize there's still consciousness here. There's still seeing, tasting, smelling, touching, that still goes on. You've just mislabeled it as a separate me, a limitation. When that's been the infinite being the whole time, it's been effortless being. It takes no effort just to be. If you're efforting, you're doing it all wrong. If you've just become relaxed and effortless, that's your effortless being. Let go, let God, let go, let source will just run everything. If an intelligence runs everything. So don't believe your next thought and yourself realized you're enlightened. Just don't believe the thoughts. That's the only difference between those that are realized and those that those that are self-realized and those that are not. The only difference is the ones that are self-realized just don't believe their thoughts are themselves. They know that they're the infinite being, that those thoughts don't apply to them unless they're loving. Then your intuition will guide you to loving thoughts. If it feels expansive, that's from your intuition. If it feels restrictive, the thoughts, that's from duality. That's not from your true nature. So don't believe them. Let them go. So know what you truly are and everything else will naturally just take care of itself effortlessly. You are the effortless being, so relax into it. Identify with what you truly are. Hopefully this message resonates with you. And you can always reach out to me if you need some pointer. If you want to talk, I do do talks one-on-one. -on -one. You can contact me through my email. I also do retreats um, throughout the world. So you can contact me there. I do retreats on cruise ships as well as visiting different countries. So if you want to contact me through the email, if that is something that resonates with you, go ahead and reach out. I'd be happy to speak with you or even one-on-ones over the phone if you'd like. Unity consciousness, that's what mankind's searching for. That's the answer to everything. That's where true peace, true joy, true happiness, true satisfaction, constant happiness, the Zen feeling, the joy, infinite joy, infinite awareness, infinite possibilities, effortless being, effortless life. That's where it all comes from. Know thyself. Life's meant to be fun. Enjoy it.